Today, we're delving into the fascinating world of AI to tackle a burning question. Which AI reigns supreme when it comes to effectiveness, concerns, and productivity for work assistants? Our contenders in this showdown are ChatGPT4, Microsoft Bing with its ChatGPT-based system, and Google's very own BART AI. But hold on tight, because the AI landscape is a whirlwind of constant change and evolution. New competitors pop up faster than you can say artificial intelligence. These AI models have undergone rapid development, and in just a matter of months, weeks, or even days, significant transformations can take place. This is a lightning-fast evolution, as these models are poised to exhibit remarkable differences from their current state. In this video, we'll be diving into a comparison of three AI systems. BART, Bing, and ChatGPT. While ChatGPT has a premium version available for $20 a month, we'll be focusing on the free chat-based AIs for this discussion. Specifically, we'll explore Microsoft's Bing, Google's BART, and OpenAI's free ChatGPT4. Let's see how these three AI models stack up against each other in terms of their chat-based capabilities. Bing's Chat Interface when it comes to Bing's chat interface, it's notable for its clean and straightforward design, positioned conveniently next to the Bing search engine. It allows for seamless switching between AI chat and the traditional search functionality. However, one notable observation is that accidentally toggling to Bing's search page while scrolling with a mouse can be slightly bothersome at times. So when you're using Bing, you get to choose from three different conversation styles. The default one is balance, but you can also go for more precise or more creative styles. And here's a cool thing. Depending on the style you pick, the interface color actually changes to remind you of your choice. If you go for the creative style, you unlock some neat tools like Bing Image Creator powered by DALL-E. It lets you generate images from text, which is pretty awesome. Another great thing about Bing is how the text shows up on the screen. It's like the AI is speaking to you in a real-time conversation, which makes the whole experience feel immersive and to add even more of a human touch. Bing's add a bunch of emojis at the end of its responses. It's those little details that make the interaction feel more natural and fun. However, as of the recording of this video, when you're using Bing, it puts a limit of 20 questions before they ask you to switch to a different topic. And guess what? ChatGPT4 has a similar rule too. You can only ask it 25 questions every 3 hours, depending on the user's purpose. This may get frustrating especially when you're doing some serious research and getting closer to finding an answer, only to suddenly hit that limit and have to start all over again. It can really break your flow and slow things down. Moving forward to Bard's chat interface. In contrast, BART delivers its response by presenting all the text at once, which can sometimes feel overwhelming or less human-like. While BART doesn't typically utilize emojis, BART on the other hand features a charming star icon next to the prompt window. When a question is asked, the spinning charm gives the impression that the system is actively processing and generating a response. Then suddenly, the responses are swiftly provided akin to a sudden burst of information dropping all at once. Compared to the interface of Bing, Bart's interface doesn't quite give off a complete human-like impression. This is primarily due to Bart's tendency to provide responses spontaneously, regardless of their length. While both Bing and ChatGPT have limitations on the number of questions you can ask, Bart stands out because it doesn't impose any restrictions or time limits on the number of questions you can ask. With BARD, you have the freedom to ask as many questions as you want without any limitations. You can keep asking away indefinitely. However, there's something to keep in mind. BARD has a tendency to be a bit wordy and can give you long answers. So get ready for some detailed explanations. After BARD gives you a response, you have a couple of options. You can give feedback by using a thumbs up or thumbs down gesture to let Bard know if it was helpful or not. If you want, you can even ask for a completely new response on the same topic. And if you're curious to dig deeper, you can choose to perform a Google search and a new window will open up for you to explore the topic further. 
it gives you more flexibility and control over your search experience. Unlike Bing that uses cute emojis, Bart doesn't. But Bart's chat interface has this cute star-shaped icon right to the next prompt window. It's like it's spinning, giving you the feeling that the system is actively working on processing your question. But one thing that's only found in Bard is when Bard responds. It's like a sudden burst of information. The answers come all at once without any gradual buildup. It's like a big revelation's hitting you in an instant. It adds a sense of impact and surprise to the conversation. When it comes to chatting history, both Bing and Bard don't store your chat history or transcripts. However, Bard keeps the prompts you provide while excluding the corresponding responses. On the other hand, Bard's interface may not have the same polished look as Bing's. It lacks emojis and a generative AI creator. In terms of interface and user experience, Bing stands out as the winner. Additionally, Bing offers the convenience of a mobile app for both iPhone and Android, allowing easy access to Bing chat while on the go. It also includes voice functionality, which adds an extra layer of convenience and user-friendliness. These features contribute to Bing's positive overall experience. Now let's talk about ChatGPT from OpenAI. The ChatGPT interface is designed to be really simple and similar to other interfaces you might have seen. But here's the cool thing. With ChatGPT, you can actually go back and check out your previous conversations. You can even export data including the transcripts of your chats. It gives you a handy way to keep track of your interactions. They recently introduced a feature in the settings where you can turn off chat history and training. They are also constantly updating chat GPT, adding new stuff and improving it. You can switch between different versions of chat GPT, gives feedback by liking or disliking responses, and even generate new responses. It's like having a lot of control over the conversation. Just like Bing, ChatGPT's typing style actually mimics how human types. It's like chatting with a real person, plus they give you the option to use a dark mode, which makes the whole visual experience even better. Now let's talk about Large Language Models or LLMs. These are advanced deep learning models designed to process human languages. Essentially, a large language model is a deep learning model that has been trained to understand and generate text in a way that resembles human language. BARD makes use of Google's in-house model known as Lambda, which is a powerful language model created by Google AI. Lambda possesses multiple capabilities such as generating text, translating languages, producing creative content, and offering informative responses to queries. In June 2022, there was a considerable excitement surrounding the Lambda when a Google engineer named Blake Lemoyne suggested that Google's AI exhibit signs of sentience. This might explain the subtle reminders present in BART, emphasizing its experimental nature and the importance of responsible usage. In a recent statement, Google CEO Sundar Pichai mentioned that BART will eventually transition to Palm. Palm is a pretty powerful, with a whopping 500 billion parameters. It's quite similar to ChatGPT because it can actually create a code for applications in web design. However, just like all AIs, Google wants to remind everyone that the AI tool might not always give accurate results. ChatGPT is powered by a large language model based on OpenAI's GPT 3.5 architecture, trained on a wide range of internet text. This LLM understands and generates human-like responses. It's specifically designed for conversational interactions, making it perfect for engaging in chat-based conversations and providing detailed answers to various questions. ChatGPT utilizes this powerful language model to simulate natural and meaningful conversations with users. Now, in the current battle among the free AI chatbots integrated into a major web browsers, who emerges as the front-runner. Bing's user interface is designed to be user-friendly, ensuring ease of use for everyone. It not only provides detailed and reliable responses that offer valuable information but also offers practical features like image creator and a mobile app. Enhancing convenience, the new Bing chat functionality boosts productivity and streamlines task completion. However, a couple of drawbacks exist such as the frustration of the 20 questions limitation 
and the occasional annoyance of accidentally switching between being search and being chat. Nevertheless, the immediate access to the search engine alongside the chat features prove advantageous. However, BART's interface may require an update, but it is expected to integrate with Google Search in an innovative manner soon. While BART has a few issues, such as the occasional inability to assist and repeat itself, Google retains all prompts unless users turn off that option. Currently, BART lacks an AI image creator and a mobile app. Nonetheless, it's crucial to keep in mind that the AI landscape is rapidly evolving and these aspects can change swiftly. OpenAI has integrated its GPT chatbot into the new Bing search engine, which is directly incorporated into Microsoft's Edge browser. This fusion combines Microsoft's Prometheus model, OpenAI's GPT-4 dataset, and Bing's search index. According to a CNET article by iMod Khan, the information in this video is based on data available up until 2021. While interacting with ChatGPT, it may sometimes feel a bit behind when asking random questions, but the systems can receive updates anytime to keep its knowledge up to date. Bing's chat functionality is further strengthened by Search Index, which provides additional source of knowledge. Considering the ongoing competition in the AI arms race, Bing currently holds an advantage with its user-friendly interface and reliable responses. However, it's worth noting that the field is still in its early stages and the dynamics can shift swiftly as new advancements are made. That's a wrap up for today's video and remember to stay in the know about the latest AI news. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the AI Uncovered News channel. Consider yourself fully covered and ready to unravel the latest of AI.